Hey guys, welcome back to the cooking show. I'm Master Chef P, and welcome to my home. Now today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do fried shrimp and zucchini. First thing I did is I put uh, fresh garlic, some oil into the wok pan, get it nice and hot. I want it to be um, the garlic inside that I minced in with the oil. I want it to turn tan, not brown or black. It would be too hard and chewy and you don't want that burnt garlic taste in your food, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, right here we have green onions that I cut up. I'm also going to throw that into the food. And I got fresh tiger shrimp here, as you can see. You can get this at any produce market that has these type of shrimps. The only reason why I use these is because they're big, meaty, and I like that nice ocean taste to the shrimp. Alright? So we got that in there. And right here we have zucchini that has been cut and frozen and ready to its use. It's already small and already cut in squares. As you can see. It's frozen too. Yep, frozen. And of course, <laughs> gotta have the lime. Lime's good on seafood. <laughs> you gotta have that, so. All right, so right now we got this on high. We'll get this started, get this nice and cooking. That little garlic flavor. I'm telling you, the aroma in this kitchen, it's so strong. If I had a Venice smell of vision i will be rich. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Now, I'll probably say that close to two and a half, maybe three pounds of zucchini cut right here in squares. Shrimp-wise, we've got just a pound of shrimp here, as you can see. Sitting in the sink and thawing out. Okay. Alright, now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to throw the shrimp in, get that cooking good. And we're not going to peel the feet off, the uh, the tail on it, we're just going to do a whole straight right into the, right into the wok pan. Throw it in like that. Just right here, throw some more in there, just like that. Like that. You didn't you didn't take the skin off or anything? Nope, no skin. We just leave the hole just like that. Because once it's cooking you get the flavor, then you'll peel it off and all the flavors last in the skin. Alright. Oh, yeah, you want to cook with a hole with the skin, the shells on there, you know. Once you put all the sauces in there, it fuses with it, it locks the flavor inside the shrimp. So that's what I wanted to do. Alright? The next thing we're gonna put Soy sauce. We got fish sauce. Very good for marinade both together for any type of vegetables, seafood, and meats. Excellent. Hell yeah. Alright. Then we're going to get some garlic powder. Of course, mom's grinded hot Thai red chili peppers. Got to have some spice to it. Alright. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of garlic powder in here. I love garlic. Garlic's really good for your heart. Alright. Smells good, huh? Thanks, movie time. <laughs> Alright, then we're going to add a little bit of fish sauce. Not too much because we don't want it too fishy. We just want to throw just a little bit in there. Just give it a little taste. And we want to throw a little bit of soy sauce in there. Make it nice and sweet. A little salt. Eat up a little bit. All right, get this nice and cooking. Yeah. Smells good too. Mm -hmm. That's why I wish I invented smell of vision. <laughs> <laughs> that is the aroma in this kitchen is like oh on point. All right, you want to make sure this cooks. Now, in order to know that the shrimp is well done and cooked, you notice that the shrimp from went from raw to a nice orange red color. That lets you know that shrimp is cooking. So you notice the color changing up. See? Yeah. Yeah, see. definitely. Tiger shrimp. Oh, it's the best way to go. Nice seafood taste straight out the ocean. Very good. Every bite has a taste. It's like, oh. Makes your tongue want to smack in your head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we want to go ahead and get this cooked down pretty good. Make sure it's all turning the same color. Mmm, that's good. 
tell you, man, whoever vended shrimp in the ocean knew what they were doing. Because, <laughs> man, this shrimp is on fire. Alright. How long does this take? The meal usually takes about close to 10 to 15 minutes. We already got the rice that we cooked earlier ahead because we're going to serve it with rice. So we got it in the pot, nice and hot, and it's ready to go to plate when the food gets done. Alright. Alright, now that we got the shrimp cooked nice, the color's changing. It's almost looking like a red orange color. What we're going to do now is we're going to add the zucchini in. Just like that. Just throw it on in there. Frozen zucchini. Frozen Look at all that smoke. Oh, yeah. Frozen zucchini. The only reason why it's been cut and put into the freezer for this is because we wanted to prepare this ahead of time to have this ready to let you guys know that we can't speed time. This is actual time. So, <laughs> all right. So we we'll put that in there and let that cook. It's smoking. That's what we want. All right. Now I'm gonna add mom's peppers in here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a spoon. Okay. I'm gonna add one pepper like this. Put that in there, and we're gonna add some powder because the the Thai chili peppers has been grinded, so we want to throw a little bit of that in there. Eh, it's a little more, why not? I like that. Okay. All right. Now that we got this cooking, we give it a little stir, stir the heat around, let this cook down a little bit, just like that. Oh yeah. Very healthy, by the way. Mm -hmm. Shrimp and zucchini. Oh, can't go wrong with that. And then you got your good seafood taste, brain food in here. And then you got your vegetables in here. Just like that. And as this all cooked down, we want to turn it just a little bit. And we want to add a little bit of more garlic powder into this. Love garlic. Garlic is good on anything. You should see me when I cooked cat the other day. Cat was pretty good with garlic. I'm just joking. <laughs> Our last video. Yeah. That's another another show that I'll show you. Alright. Mix this up pretty good just like this. I want this food to cook down. Get all the food to love on each other. The shrimp, the zucchini, all the flavors, the sauces, the seasoning. Oh, just like that. hard anymore. Mm -hmm. So now you can see that soften up. The color on it went from like a whiting to a nice, how you say, um, yellow or color, which means it's cooking. See that? Yeah. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do this. Go to the refrigerator and what we're going to grab is poison sauce. Poison sauce is pretty good on stir fry um, sauces. You can dip your meat, your vegetables in. I like to use them in my cooking, especially when it comes to like a seafood, especially with shrimp, because it's awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of this. Just like that. Yeah, just like that. Ah. Right there, there we go. Okay. All right. Let this mix this up a little bit. Now what this sauce is going to do is going to fuse with the fish sauce, the soy sauce, the garlic powder. It's already into this. So it's really going to give a good, nice smell to it. Good, nice, tangy, sweet, sour taste to this. Because don't forget, we're adding the lemon. Uh, excuse Rolling. me, the lime at the end of the meal. So I'm going to put this in here and get this nice. All right. Get it nice. Mm. Smell that. Mm-hmm. Alright, now that we got in here, now what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of water. The reason why we're adding a little bit of water is to get the sauce um, thin. And once it gets thin, it'll cook, then it'll thin out, then it'll disappear. And all the sauce will go into the shrimp and into the zucchini, okay? So we want to take uh, some hot water. A quarter cup, not much, just a quarter cup. Just like that, a quarter cup. I don't know if you can see that. Put a cup of water. All right, throw this in here as well, just like that. Now 